Yeah, what's the ladies and My name is Senior MVP Ruby 34, and I'm here today uh, to discuss a new dinosaur that has been recently discovered in China. And this dinosaur, in my opinion, has shook the foundations of the dinosaur world. It has brought new revolution to the dinosaur world. Um, sorry if my throat sounds a bit weird, but uh, I've got a bit of a cough and a sore throat, so yeah, bear with me. But today we're going to discuss a, a really cool looking dinosaur. We are going to discuss the Chinese dinosaur known as Yi Kui. So here we have the fossil of the Yiqui uh, dinosaur, and as you can see, this looks like a really crazy fossil. I mean, if you look closely at the hands, wow, those hands are just crazy. They, they, they literally look like bat hands. They pretty much are bat hands. But what's so unique about this dinosaur is that its wings look very bat-like. And I've seen photos, I've seen artists' impressions, and you know something? This would look like a cool dinosaur. It would even look like a cool dinosaur for like a horror movie. This dude, um... I think this dude, yeah, this dude lived in China, and his name derives from Mandarin, and uh, he lived 160 million years ago, so that's in the late Jurassic period, uh, and he would have probably, he would have been probably around with uh, Young Chornosaurus, Sin Sinraptor, Memenchosaurus, uh, probably even some di some Tyrannosaurus um, uh, ancestors like um, Guanlong and Yinglong, I think it's called Ying. No, it's not called Yinglong. Uh, there's some other other Tyrannosaur ancestors, uh, Ceratopsian ancestors. So you got a, you got a large bunch of uh, dinosaur ancestors. But this guy, he looks really cool. He he looks like as if someone like f did a Frankenstein experiment upon an Archaeopteryx, and then they came out with this guy. And uh, yeah, he's just a cool looking little dinosaur. So here's one of the best looking artist impressions. As you can see, the the wings have definitely been utilized. And drawn quite a bit in this photo. Well, not photo, sorry. I mean picture. <laughs> I do apologise. Um, but as you can see, it looks very bat-like, and uh, the fossils did show. I think the fossils did record that the, uh, the, the this guy had downy feathers, like this little fur-like feathers. So he definitely was. He definitely was like a, within the primitive kind of bird, bird-like dinosaurs. But he was definitely, he definitely looks really cool. He definitely looks like basically like a dinosaur bat. And I can imagine this guy just like flying up to you and be like, I'm Bat Dino. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry for my Batman impression. But um, this guy was probably around the size of a pigeon. So not very big, but it doesn't, he doesn't really need to be big. I mean, a creature of his size would definitely need to be around that size because you've got large predators, larger theropods walking about. You've got young Tronosaurus, Sinraptor competing for food. And this guy probably would have fed upon insects and uh, little rodents and maybe some little lizards about. And maybe even if he got the chance, he'd cannibalize on uh, other Yiqui nests, like eating the eggs. So I reckon this guy definitely utilized uh, his wing, uh, the treetops and all that, quite nicely. I think he was definitely a very scary predator uh, when he when he got when he had his prey in sight. So yeah, if you were a little lizard or a little rodent back then, you would be terrified of this guy. This guy would like be. This guy would just basically be a dragon. He'd be just, he'd just basically be a dragon. He would be on top of you and ripping you apart and then swallowing you, swallowing, swallowing you down. So yeah, a very scary looking dinosaur. But if this guy was alive, I'd love to have him as like a, I'd like to train him like um, a hawk or something, you know, like, like you'd have, yeah, have a gauntlet, a piece of meat on him and have him fly up to you. It'd be really cool. It'd be, a, it'd be great. I mean, this guy definitely, he, I think he's starting to grow on me just because he's a, he's a cool looking dinosaur. I mean, I love just the look of him. The look of this creature could, um, in fact, um, show that maybe maybe ter pterosaurs and dinosaurs are actually a bit more closely related than than uh, we thought. I mean, but look at the mem wing membrane. But then again, that could just be me making up theories and making up stuff. I mean, I'm I I don't want to ever say that I'm right about things, but. Um, 
there is a possibility. There is a very, very slim possibility. A very slim possibility. Note how I use the word slim. So, yeah. But Equi, definitely a really cool dinosaur. Definitely a cool species. Definitely a cool genus. And hopefully in the, in the uh, next few years we will be able to find more like him. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this. And I hope you like Equi. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.